What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for beginners. Episode number four today will be about conditions and if statements. In the last video we talked a lot about operators and in particular we mentioned comparison operators that always return a boolean. Now booleans are the basis of conditions and we can use these operators to formulate some if statements. An if statement is basically a statement that checks for a certain condition and if this condition returns true, the code after the statement will be executed. Otherwise, it will just be skipped. So we're making our code more conditional instead of just executing everything in the script linearly. Now, let's look at a code example here. So uh, let's say we define two variables uh, by user input, as we learned in the last episode, and say first number and y equals second number then of course we would have to typecast these values so x is int x and y is int y and now what i can do is i can use comparison operators to compare these two numbers so i can check for equal i can check for less than greater than and so on and um, i can then print messages depending on the result so um, with an if statement, I could say if x is less than y, for example, I could check for this one, uh, then I say colon to indicate that now I am opening up a new if block. So if this condition here x is less than y, if this returns true, do something. So um, then I could say print um, x is less than y. Now, Notice that this code here is indented because it then belongs to this if statement. If it's not indented, it's not recognized as uh, code for the if statement. So we have to use a colon and then indent the code uh, to say that this code belongs to the if statement because I can have multiple um, things here, whatever. And uh, if I want to execute code outside of the if statement, I would have to go back to uh, well, out of the indentation basically. So when I write code here, this would no longer belong to the if statement, but everything that's indented here belongs to the if statement. So what's happening here is I'm checking for x is less than y, and this statement can return true or false. If it returns true, I get this message, and if it returns false, nothing happens because the program, the script is over then. Now, I can run the module and say 5 and 10, and as you can see, x is less than y but when i say when our input 5 and 2 the script does nothing now maybe we also want to print something if the condition is not met and returns false for this we can use else statements so we append an else tree to our condition by saying else and in this code block here i can input everything else so print x is not less than y so every time the condition uh, or every time the condition returns false, I will get into this um, else block here and into this else tree and these commands will be executed. So in this case, if x is uh, not less than y, it would give me x is not less than y. So uh, I could say 10 or two, x is not less than y. And also if they're equal 10 and 10, it would give me x is not less than y. So I have three situations here. I can have x is less than y, x is equal to y, or x is greater than y. But I only have two outputs. And if I want to check for multiple uh, conditions or multiple comparisons here, I can use a so-called elif statement. So I can enter another if here by typing elif, so else if, if the first condition is not met, I'm checking for another condition. So x is greater than y, for example. And then I can say, print x is greater than y and of course if um, these two conditions are not met the result would be that x must be equal to y so we can either have x is less than y x is greater than y and if both return false x has to be equal to y um, if we assume that x and y are numbers so if they were not numbers, we could uh, not really do any calculations with them. So now I can say 10 and 10 is equal. When I say 
10 and 20, it would say less than y. And if I say 20 and 10, it will say x is greater than y. Now, if we're interested in even more information, we can also use nested if statements. So these are just chains of if statements. Uh, for example, I could say, um, if I know that x is greater than y, I also want to check, uh, I don't know, if x is greater than 100 for some reason. And then I could print x is greater than 100. And I could make if statements and if statements and if statements and so on. And then I can use else statements and elif statements. And I can use, um, I can make decision trees with that. So I can uh, already build some logical decision structures in my code when I uh, use multiple if statements here. So what I could also do is I can say, okay, if x is less than y, I can check if x is a positive number. So if x is greater than zero, print x is positive, and otherwise print, print uh, x is negative, which is actually not quite accurate because I would have to check for great, greater or equal to, because if x is zero, it's not necessarily negative. So that's it for this video. We now know how to use if statements, how to build if else decision trees, how to make uh, logical decision structures in our code. And uh, in the next video, we're going to learn a lot about loops. So we're going to deal with Booleans again, and these loops will allow us to automate repetitive processes. So keep going and watch the future episodes. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And also, if you want to see more, subscribe to this channel. Uh, feel free to ask questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.